y'all. It's Island Coupon Gal. I wanted to show you what I did at CVS yesterday. Sunday had, oh my gosh, had such an issue. I will talk to you about that in a minute. This video is pretty much going to be entitled Operation Spend My ECBs ASAP, and I will talk to you about why in a second. So I wanted to answer some questions. My husband takes my laptop to work with him and sometimes does not bring it home. So I am unable to reply directly to comments. Um, on my iPad, same thing. On my iPhone, same thing. So let me talk to you about some questions I've been having. Okay, the biggest one I have is about the 4 off 20s. A um, couple of the comments seems a little like irritated with wanting to know how I get so many 4 off 20s. It's very simple. Go to eBay. I believe Craigslist also has some. Some people have private websites offering them. And that's pretty much all I can say about that. I don't get a whole lot of 4 off 20s at the red box. I didn't get any of the 10 off 50s that everybody else was getting, but that's how I get them. And I try not to talk about that a whole lot in my videos. I will make an exception right now since I cannot reply directly and I'm not ignoring you. I just am not able to reply directly to your comments. So check eBay. 29 Luana did a great video about explaining how exactly to get those. Reference her video. I coupon for us talked about it as well. I've done videos before um, where I referenced basics on how to get them, but yeah. So I just wanted to tell you about that. Um, I've had some questions about the blog. Some people are having trouble. They said that they are having a hard time getting to it. Every video I do, I put a link to my blog page, islandcoupongal.blogspot.com. I don't have any trouble using the link. I don't have any trouble like, accessing it when I type in islandcoupongal.blogspot.com in my browser address bar. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, you could always go to Blogger or Blogspot and search Island Coupon Gal, but otherwise, if you type that in, if you can't use the link, type it in, it should be no problem. Um, questions about the Droid tablet. I have not been able to use it a whole lot yet. From what I've seen, it's okay, not bad. For a $99 to uh, tablet, it's not bad. Uh, definitely better than some of the more cheaper versions like the Sylvania brand. I believe it's a little better. People have asked me, can I print coupons from it? Well, yes and no. I have not downloaded, I've not downloaded any apps from the Android market yet, but there is a coupons.com app that's available on iPhone and iPad that you can do coupons.com video, um, videos, coupons. But as far as like Bricks coupons go, Facebook coupons, coupons from websites, those you have to have the coupon activator installed or whatever that's called, the coupon printer and that has to be done from a PC or laptop or Mac or whatever that is. Um, so yeah, all the Apple devices I have, I can print from coupons.com. I believe Droid, Android vice, devices, you can do the same. If you download the app, you also must have a Wi-Fi connection on both your printer as well as your device. And um, yeah, so hopefully that answers a few questions. Um, do I have any more, do I have any trouble using more than one 4 off 20 in a transaction? Now, some of the new 4 off 20s say it's a shopping beauty club pass, but it's off any $20 purchase. No, I don't, I never have a hard time, not just at my home store, but at other stores, as long as your subtotal before tax reaches the $20 increment. So let's say I spent 60 at a store before tax. I can use three of the four off 20s. I've heard some chatter that some of them are beeping. I used seven, six or seven yesterday and had no problems. As long as your subtotal is in increments of 20 before tax, the coupon policy states you can use more than one purchase-based coupon as long as your subtotal warrants it. Now, it could be a your mileage may vary. I guess some CVSs like to give people hard times. That I, I am not familiar with because I've never had a hard time using more than one. As long as they don't beep, if I'm at an unfamiliar store and my subtotal was a little less than what I expected, sometimes they do beep. More often than not, they push them through, but I can't speak for everyone's experience. Um, I will do a review on the Android tablet later on. Oh, stockpile. I will do a stockpile video later. I'm going to Pennsylvania this weekend. And I also have a girlfriend coming over on Wednesday to actually raid my stockpile. And I've been doing heavily, heavily donating, heavily. That's actually why I got all the shipping tape because I have a bunch more boxes I have to put together. Y'all, I have donated over a dozen humongous boxes 
I, I just can't even tell you. And I'm also taking stuff to my parents in Pennsylvania. So I, I, I'm, I've been really hesitant to show my stockpile because it is in several locations in my house. I have an outside kind of shed-like. I have it up in my attic. And then I have it in a few other places in my house. But I will get to that eventually. But it is not humongous comparatively to all the things you see me shop for. I probably have kept 10% of what I've shopped for. So that being said, let's get into my haul. I went to CVS on Sunday to scan my card and to pick up newspapers with my extra bucks. I was expecting a $10 beauty club reward on my primary card. If you follow my videos, you know that someone has a duplicate card and is using it. I was alerted to this fact by the false spending calculation. In the summer, summer spending between both of my cards, I didn't spend over $300, $400, but my fall spending two weeks into the quarter showed at 400 and some. It's at 500 and some right now. So I knew that somebody else was using my card. I called corporate. They told me I have to spend down all of my rewards on this card before they can cancel it and transfer all my information to a new card. And I already have the new card and I've already started stockpiling my ECBs on it. If you follow my videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I went in to scan my card and get my papers. I was expecting a $10 beauty club reward as well as all the Sunday coupons that we get. Mondays are the best days. That's when we get our Redbox coupons based on our spending. But usually Sunday, they start a new batch of the ones we get every day. I got none, which means that somebody had already been there shopping or scanning their the same, you know, the duplicate card of my account and got all my coupons as well as my beauty club rewards. So I got really nervous. I had 160 some ECBs on me, 175 on me. I decided I was going to spend them and spend them quickly. So I did pick up a Pro Glide Styler only because this is a fantastic deal. I did get the $5 extra buck back for that, which I will spend immediately. Did the Scott, $4.99. I believe I had a 75 cent coupon. Progresso Soups, four, no, 94 cents. We have a dollar off four from the General Mills. The Arizonas, the front ones rang up for 99 cents. There was a sign that said 69 cents, and there was the mango, as well as two of the fruit punches on that display, but the rest I got from the cooler. So all the fruit punches rang up for 99 cents and the mango rang up for 69 cents. If you live in an area that has a three-day ad and you got the CVS ad in your newspaper, there was a 20% shopping pass in that. They're not available in the flyers that are in the store. It's only through the newspapers. So everything that was regular price, I was expecting, you know, to have the 20% discount on it. These items I way overpaid. This was in the correct spot at $6.99. These were in spots that were labeled $8.99. This rang up for $12.29, the heavy duty. And the sure start rang up for $11.29. Bold over. These items I picked up just because we always like to use paper products, especially when I'm feeling lazy and we're doing like pizza or whatever. But the holidays are coming up. So these 48 count plates were $4.99. Again, in the wrong spot. It was in a spot marked $2.99. These are $2.99. And they're the nice heavy plastic. These bowls, I got two packs of um, 24 count bowls, total home brand, $3.99 a piece. And then the CVS premium plastic bowls were $2.99 a piece. These were on clearance. This quickie scrub brush is on 75% clearance for $1.50. Not sure what the regular price is on that. Let's see, $5.99, I believe, because I saved $4.49. This toilet bowl brush was also 75% off, and it rang up for $2. Regular price was $7.99 on this. My goodness. This is a part of, I believe, the um, seasonal items. They These are on clearance for $0.74. Cents. I picked up one of these... Um, Bathing suit cover-ups, really, really cute. Very nice, silky material. This was supposed to be 90% off, but it rang up for 75% off at $4, and I saved $11.99, so a dollar or two mistake, no big deal. This bathing suit cover-up did ring up for 90% off at $1.49, and I saved $13.50. Picked up some bubble mailers because I'm always sending packages out. These rang up a lot higher than I expected. $5.99 each, crazy. These items here... Um, these two were $2.27 each. These are the bubble mailers. And this rang up for $1.50. I don't understand it. This one's just not shiny. This 30 count pack of press and seal envelopes. Let me see what that rang up for, y'all. $3.99. Again, not really expecting that high, but hey, Operation Spend My Rewards. Okay, I've been looking for a, an inexpensive digital camera just to have it in case my phone's on the fritz or whatever, or if I'm out and about. Um, I'd like to take maybe family videos. I, I don't know. 
um, upload super, super long videos, longer than my usual 15 minute videos, <laughs> whatever. So this was regular price at $34.99 and I kind of assumed my 20% would help. The, it also needs a micro SD card or an SD card with four gigabytes or higher. So I picked up this one at uh, the eight gigabyte at $25.49. Kind of mad at myself because I believe Wednesday it starts a sale for the four gigabyte at $9.99. I'm not sure, but it's whatever. So I also picked up four papers at $1.50. That was the only um, particular newspaper they carried at that store. I picked up a toy for my son for $3.99. And I think that's it. So when it was all said and done, let me show you real quick. My total, my subtotal was over $200, guys. I was not expecting it to be that high. I only had six four-off 20s with me, so that's what I used. I used the few coupons I had and then $164.58 worth of extra bucks. Paid $0.67 cents plus $0.04 cents tax. Total was $0.71. Cents. I saved $258.63. Got back the $5 for the ProGlide Styler. Ay, ay, ay. So... I was driving home and I realized, crap, I forgot to use my 20% coupon. So I turned right back around and asked them, and this is definitely a your mileage may vary type thing because I've never done this before. I didn't know what was going to happen if I'd have to return and rebuy, which I really did not want to do. I was just curious if there was anything I could do to recoup some of the money that I had spent extra. My store is amazing. And what they did, and they were really cool about it too, they calculated all these items. Let me show you real quick. Before. I'm sorry if I'm giving you like seasickness. All these items, all the sale items usually ring up in a group up top, and then down here are your non-sale items that a percent off coupon would apply to. They added up all those items. It was $157 and change. 20% of that would roughly be about $31 and change. They were really, really great. They took my new card that, um, that I'm trying to get my extra bucks built up on that I will be using as my primary card once all of these other extra bucks are spent up. They force printed... $32 worth of ECBs, a two and three tens. They rounded up the $31 and change and gave this to me on my new card so I can spend them without any beeps. And I thought that was great. Again, your mileage will vary. I, what I suggest is be on it instead of being like me and forgetting. Make sure you use your percent off coupons. It's only a three day shopping pass um, and it's only good till Wednesday. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything else coming out Wednesday, but. Just a little FYI, definitely, even if you save just a dollar, it's better than nothing. And then I also wanted to share with you, so basically, sorry, so basically I paid about $125 out of pocket for all this stuff, but you figure $35 plus tax for the camera plus $25 and change plus tax for the micro SD card. It's whatever, right? I'm in a frenzy, a frantic hurry to spend them. Went to Walgreens. I had one $45 coupon that was mailed to me that didn't expire till the end of September. I'm sorry, end of December. And then I actually found a, cop, a couple copies. The pharmacist was amazing. They didn't have them out, but he gave me like five or six copies and said to share them of the fall diabetes and you coupon book. Well, it's a magazine. It has coupons in it. And here's the $30 Vario IQ coupon. So you're getting $15 less in overage, but Eight to ten dollars in overage is still overage. So what I did is I purchased a fifty dollar card, and using the overage that I got between, I only purchased two meters. Used the forty five dollar coupon and the thirty dollar coupon between the fifty dollars and the you know four ninety five activation fee. I did pay about twenty to twenty five dollars out of pocket. I can't remember exactly, but I will pay twenty or twenty five dollars to turn that into a fifty dollar visa any day of the week. So this was yesterday Sunday. Very late, like 11.30 p.m. So it is still working as of now. So you may want to get together your $30 coupons. You can at least get a $25 gift card. The activation fee on that is right under $4. It's still working so far. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I have a Rite Aid haul to show you. And I will be going back to CVS tomorrow to start the new Wednesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday to start the new Wednesday sales. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.